All right, well, it's in, and it's big. It's 134 pages. Temple University releasing the findings and recommendations of a long-awaited public safety audit. I guess the, this idea came up in January of 2022. The university announced they were taking steps to improve safety on and around campus. And this came after the death of 21-year-old student Sam Collington, who was shot and killed while unloading his car near the campus. That and many other mm. incidents. The audit was conducted by former Philadelphia Police Commissioner Charles Ramsey. And like Mike mentioned, it's 134 pages and has nearly 70 recommendation points for Temple. Yeah, Dr. Jennifer Griffin, Vice President of Public Safety over at Temple University, joins us again. Good to see you. Um, Great to see you. Yeah, 68 exactly recommendations. I noticed that one of them says uh, safety partnership zones. What are those? Yeah, so the safety partnership zone is really looking to leverage. We know that the safety of Temple University is intricately linked with North Philadelphia. And so the safety partnership zone is really the expansion of our network, expansion of the partnerships that we have. Um, we've got to be doing collaboration. We've got to be a leader in this, um, this arena. And so that's what it is. It's really setting the structure and recommending that Temple take the lead in establishing this partnership zone. And the important part, and, and part of that is, because there's been a lot of talk about when these incidents happen, whether it's on campus or adjacent to campus mm -hmm. or near campus. So it's kind of saying uh, Temple should be actively investing in not just what's directly on campus, correct? Also in the community? Exactly, Alex. Uh, you know, our patrol zone for where our police officers will respond is the same, but then the collaboration, the expansion of other services out into the community and bringing the community further into the university to help inform um, the resources that we're gonna use. You know, that's the big piece of it. It's really looking, you know, we can't police our way out of this problem. That's been shown year after year. Uh, police, is, police and law enforcement are gonna be a, a critical piece of it, but we're gonna be addressing like root causes of crime, promoting community well-being and problem solving, and really having those partnerships expanded beyond the borders of Temple. And when you say, though, you know, police shouldn't be, we can't police our way out of this problem, but it is a big piece of it. And especially when you hear Temple police officers themselves, the union saying, we need more officers. And I know we've talked like to you about this before, 40 more. about how hard it is to find um, new officers right now. But, it, you know, is the goal to get more police officers to do foot traffic and how many? Right. So one of the recommendations in the report is a staffing study. We've not had a staffing study, so that would be critically helpful just to determine the exact number, the distribution of resources. Um, so we do want more police officers and not just to police. We don't want to create a police state or an over policing, but there's so many programs we can do. We are going to be increasing our foot patrols. You should see some increases already. Um, we're using the partnerships with Philadelphia Police Department. They are also assisting with foot patrols. So just that visible presence in the area so that people know, you know, the police are here. We are in an environment where we're working together. You know, that's going to be what drives us forward. No, I, I like to say that we have five pillars, right? It's yeah. personnel, training and professional development, technology and equipment, strategy, collaboration, communication. If we have personnel with no strategy, we're not going to be as effective and if we have strategy with not personnel to carry it out, we're not going to be able to do it. So those five pillars are very linked and we will be working forward through the rec recommendations um, under those categories. Yeah, uh, Commissioner Ramsey kind of buttresses what you say yesterday talking about the police state idea. Here it is. Because what you don't want is to have an overwhelming presence of police and create other problems, okay, with the community. We want community-oriented police officers. Not just people that are out there, you know, stopping folks and, and treating people like they're, they're, they're criminals. You, you, we need to have the right police officers. They're there. You just have to find them. Um, so I'm telling you, it seemed like the, one of the emphasis of this report was, hey, Temple, it's up to you. You need to take control of this situation. Sure, the Philadelphia Police Department needs to be involved. The businesses around Temple and the landlords all around Temple all need to get on the same page, but it's Temple's responsibility to lead this whole thing. Yeah, Mike, we're looking at it as Temple becomes the, what we're calling a convener. 
taking the leadership position within the community and within the university to really bring people together. We have tons of scholars. Um, we have, look at our medical facilities, you know, with Dr. Amy Goldberg and Scott Charles, like, you know, we've got amazing people doing work at a lot of different locations throughout North Philadelphia, and just bringing everybody together and yeah, really leading bring the them together. And, and really quickly, 134 pages, 68 recommendations. That sounds like it's going to take a lot of time. Um, and it sounds like other reports need to be had. Do you know a time frame? Because some folks might say, we need something now. We need these changes now. What does it look like time-wise uh, for making some of these changes? Right. So there are 68 recommendations, some of them with sub-recommendations. But I've identified nine already that we're already in progress with. And so the path forward, we'll be communicating this out through our, our new website as well, is as we endeavor to take on one, we'll be updating the website. Some of them will never be completed. Like the camera audit, we've already completed. We have a plan in place on how we're going to move forward with increasing cameras, adding different artificial intelligence to the cameras, license plate readers. You know, those things need to be evaluated on a yearly basis. That's a best practice. Policies and procedures should be reviewed at a minimum on a yearly yeah. basis. You know, so those things will never end. Some of the other projects, like, you know, completing a staff, a staff study, that has a start and an end period. Yeah. But, you know, we'll be communicating all of this out. We want people to see what we're doing. We mm -hmm. want to have them share in our success as well. And that was one of the recommendations, more communication, right. um, more communication. with students. Is anybody on campus resentful of this report? saying, oh, my God, you're blaming us for all this bad behavior around campus. I, I've not heard that yet. I mean, I think we're all very excited about getting the report, working with Commissioner Ramsey and his team. We're very appreciative of, you know, the comprehensive report. We asked for a holistic, complete look of not just public safety, but the university. And like Commissioner Ramsey said, this is the largest scope of a study that they've done. Yeah. Hey, uh... Next time, let's do this in person. We'd love to talk to you in mm -hmm. person because this Zoom stuff really stinks. But I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually going to a uh, technology symposium today on oh. law enforcement. So part you're of the busy. strategy is increasing our technology. <laughs> so I appreciate you fitting me in. Oh, so, you're thank great. You. Thank you for thank joining you us. We'll be right back.